The Princess and the Pea There was once a prince, handsome of course, who wanted to marry a princess, beautiful of course. But even more important, she had to be a truly real princess. He went off traveling all over the world where he met many princesses. But he could never be quite sure that they were real princesses. At first glance, they seemed to be, but then there was always something that did not seem quite right. So he came back home again, looking very miserable. He had so wanted to meet the real princess and marry her. One night, soon after he had returned, there was a most terrible storm. Flash! went the lightning. Crash! went the thunder, and the rain made rivers of the roads. In the middle of this storm, there was a loud knocking on the palace door, and the king himself went to see who was there. Outside stood the princess, but oh dear, what a sorry sight she was. Her clothes were sodden, her hair was plastered to her head, rain dripped off the end of her nose, and squelch over the top of her shoes. I may look wretch, she said, but I am a real princess. Mmm, thought the queen. Well, soon see about that. And without saying a word, she hurried off to the spare room. She took all the bed clothes from the bed and put a pea on the mattress. Then, she put 20 more mattresses on top of it and 20 feather either downs on top of them. The princess had a head bath and was then shown to her bedroom. The next morning, the queen asked how she had slept. Alas, replied the princess, despite all those mattresses and either downs, I barely slept a wink. There must have been something huge and hard in the bed. Look, I'm black and blue all over. It was horrible. Hurrah! cried the queen. Yepe! yelled the prince. Wonderful! warbled the king. She is a truly real princess. They, of course, knew that the only real princess would have skin so soft she could feel a pea through twenty mattresses and twenty other downs. So the prince married her and the pea was placed on a silken cushion in a glass case in the museum where you can see it still unless someone has stolen it. And this is a true story, really. <laughs>